In this video, we are going to learn how to create a new repository on your in our hard drive, right? And then push the changes to our uh, GitHub account. So welcome geeks, geeks. This is Joan Media. Welcome back to this beautiful channel. If you want to keep learning about technology in general, please subscribe and keep doing it with me. It's a pleasure to have you here and let's go ahead to understand how to use this. All right. So the, the thing that we're going to do here is create a new repository, right? and then uh, publish our changes in github uh, well to have our uh, code uh, backed up actually and we'll have better tracing of what are the changes of our code so in this case the first thing that i want to tell you is that we have two options the first one is uh, this bottom here which is create a new repository on your hard drive however there is another option which is clicking on the file at the top menu and then click on new repository the both uh, buttons are, are gonna redirect you to the same uh, well actually model here right so the the thing that we have to do here is at first name our our repository in this case I'm gonna name it test repository that's good right so now we have to set the description uh, I'm gonna say that this repository is just to understand the basic flow of the github desktop right mm -hmm. now we have the description and now we have to set the local path where we want to uh, actually uh, well create our, our repository right so uh, i'm gonna i want to uh, save this in my documents right and um, we can say that if, if we want to initialize this repository with a readme or if we don't in my case uh, well i want to uh, well actually initialize this repository with a readme it's fine and uh, it's saying that if we want to create a git ignore file if you remember the the video where i explained this uh, using the command line get yeah, the git ignore uh, the git ignore file is basically the things that you don't want to um, commit or save in your uh, repository in the in the cloud right in the in the github repository itself in the remote one uh, for different reasons for example if that if, the, if for example if you have a heavyweight um, dependencies you don't want to save them in in the in the repository right you have a, a, a dependencies file in for example in the package that json file if you're working with node and you don't want to store the dependencies in the remote uh, re um, repository so in this case i don't have um, a project in my mind to to store so i don't i am not going to uh, create a getting or file however if you are working for example i don't know with um, well with c sharp or C++, right? You can create this git ignore automatically. That's good. And now then uh, we can select the um, license that our project has. So in my, in my case, this is going to be a license project and there it, that's it. I guess that I have set my repository. Now uh, that the next step is we'll actually create a new repository here. And as you can see, well, my repository has been created. In this case, um, the thing that I want to do is um well make some changes right to see how how the github uh, desktop works and then uh, actually publish my repository right or uh, well as as you may know uh, kind of push the changes to the remote one right so um well if if we take a look of the current view here we have different things right we we can see here different repositories in my case i just have one this one that's repository we can see different branches that my project can have we can create new new one here if you want to learn how to create a new branch you know in a in the future and also how to merge the changes with github desktop please let me know in the comment section below please all right and uh, well it is there is another uh, button here which is uh, saying publish repository right um if we take a look here it is saying that we have no login changes right that's uh, that's correct uh, we have another uh, option here to publish my repository and also it is saying that i can use an external editor to make changes right in this case uh, we have two options i can use the open in visual studio code uh, button or show in explorer which are basically the same 
uh, in my case i want to use the open in a visual studio code right i'm gonna do some changes here i'm gonna create a folder named test folder test folder and inside of the test folder i want to create a file in this case it is gonna be a test.js i'm not sure i'm gonna create a couple variables here test one mm -hmm. It's gonna be a string saying test. I'm not sure. There is. That's that's the change that I want to do. I have created a folder and a file, right? So once this is done, the next step that you are gonna see in that, uh, well, actually in the in the biz, in the GitHub desktop uh, application, you're gonna see the change file here, and uh, all the change that I have made. In this case, I'm adding this line. Um, so once this is done. I can commit my um, well my change to main. However, this is locally yet, right? If you remember or if you're related with Git, you know that we have a local and a remote repository. In this case, I'm currently working and actually doing my changes locally first. So I'm gonna create this test.js. Uh, create test.js, and uh, I can set the description. I'm gonna just place a <laughs> attached there so once I'm, I'm ready i just have to commit to main in this case because this is the current branch that i'm working for right so i'm gonna just click here once this is done i can take a look of the history i it says that we have an initial commit which uh, has all the uh, files that are generated automatically that i wanted to generate automatically right and uh, well uh, we have done another commit which has or, or yeah which has this change mm, this is the name of the commit initial commit and this is the another uh, commit name create test js so as you can see we have different numbers here different ids we can take a look of different um, well options and this is a very interesting way to take a look of the history or of the changes that you have done so yeah it's very easy so the next step that i want to do is well uh, if if we take a look of the github uh, desktop account right i'm sorry of the github account you're going to see that i don't have any uh, repository named as uh, as test repository let me just take uh, show you uh, i don't have a test repository here it is not so uh, the thing the next thing that i want to do is publish or publish my repository in my github account so in this case i just have to publish repository right and it is asking me if i want to sign in because i didn't do it before in this case i just have to click on sign in it is gonna ask me to um well actually continue with browser and i just have to click here and then it is done let me see if i publish again the repository it is gonna ask me for the name i want the same name that i have uh, specified here this is the description and it is asking me if i want to uh, have this repository in private or in public in my case i want it private it's okay so i'm gonna click here publish repository it is gonna take a few seconds or minutes depending on the amount <laughs> of code and stuff that you have in your project and let's see if it works or not i hope that it does it is a uh, well actually pushing the changes and now it is a uh, bullish in our remote repository right so if we take a look of the github desktop or actually the github account i refresh this this website and you will see that i have a new repository here it was updated 80 seconds ago and if i open this you will see all the files here i have a test folder here with the last test.js file that i wanted to use so it's pretty easy right that's how you can upload a um, well uh, a new project in your um in your uh, well actually in your uh, github account right so I think that uh, if we take a look of something else, let's imagine that uh, you you have another change. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna create another folder or actually another file here, which is gonna be test uh, number two. I'm I'm, I don't know, I'm just doing uh, different or weird stuff here to show you the the behavior. <laughs> I'm gonna create another variable here. Test two. It's equal to a number. So uh, if you take a look at the GitHub um, 
uh, desktop application, you are going to see this uh, this new change file, right? And uh, let's imagine that I also want to change the another file that I have done before, and I want to add a one after the test one uh, uh, variable. So uh, you will see another change here and you can see this icon which actually says that this is a change or there is a change as you can see here uh, we can take a look of the change that we are doing right and uh, well that's that's uh, that's amazing right we have a better understanding of the difference or the changes that we have in our code that's pretty pretty good um, well let's imagine that I want to actually send those uh, changes to my a repository right so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna actually enter a summary it is gonna be uh, fixing um th the first test time to know and adding a second one i'm gonna commit this you will see that the history has uh, a new uh, inviter <laughs> a new guest and uh, we can see the changes that we we have done right so if we want to uh, actually publish my changes you can see that it is saying that we can push uh, our commits to the origin remote so we just have to click here and my changes are going to be sent and are going to be stored in my repository so you are going to see here the test repository has been updated two uh, seconds ago right and if we take a look of the test folder inside of it, we have a, my new file here, right? Which is test number two with a number. And if we check the test.js file, we have number one now placed there. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty easy of how to upload a, a project to uh, your remote repository so please subscribe if you like this video of course and let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of doubt that's it for now this was your media thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next one bye bye